Yo, got a good one, another one, Sir Ellie. Yo, I've been saying this shit all over social media the past couple of days about Kevin Gates. It's nothing new with Kevin Gates. With me, I go off a of person persona, how they carry themselves, their posture, everything means a lot to me. You get what I'm saying? So this type of shit isn't no type of like breaking news to me. You get what I'm saying? But a transgender woman was recently on a platform and she was basically speaking about Kevin Gates. And she was like, yo, Kevin Gates is, um, he down with the, um, the sword fight. Y'all listen for y'all self, man. Oh, but it's like her life. <laughs> exactly. Okay, what, what, what trouble have you gotten yourself into? I feel like I've been, it's crazy because I'm like, oh, I've been more wholesome in the sense that like I don't just blab my mouth to like random cameras and be like, oh my god, I fucked someone's up. Oh my god, so and so pulled a gun on me or like put a gun in my pussy. But like, <laughs> when it comes down to you, like I, the beans are like, so. I went on a date with Kevin Gates. Okay. Not, you know, huh? How you got a pussy? When I went on a date with Kevin Gates, is that what that motherfucker said? R -r 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 -r. We rewind. Okay, what, the video? What, what trouble have you gotten yourself into? I feel like I've been, it's crazy because I'm like, oh, I've been more wholesome in the sense that like I don't just blab my mouth to like random cameras and be like, oh my god, I fucked someone up. Oh my god, so and so pulled a gun on me or like put a gun in my pussy. But like, <laughs> when it comes down to you, like. I, the beans yeah, are so so I went on a date with Kevin Gates. Okay. Not, you know, okay. that is right. It's two pounds, one for the pie, one for the pie. Yeah, that was one. Yeah. And that I was got really two phones. Really good experience. And like, he's just one of those people, like, people in the industry, like, they're so fucked up from like literally like the life that they've had. That like, okay, so I DM'd him, uh, you know, I like go on my little sprees. Okay, okay, okay. I'll like, what I do is I'll go on like drink and I'll, I'll see who he's following and just DM every single hot guy I see with the blue check mark. And hoping that just pays my bills one day, because shit, this pussy and my penthouse are not going to pay itself. Um, and so I DM'd him, and he was like, yo, like, I think he was like in Atlanta, I was like, I'm not, like, so he came, and he was like, let's go to dinner, and I was like, okay. Now, that was brave of you, being a transgender, hopping in somebody's DM. Now, now, that's where I'm ready to speak on this, right? You had to feel some type of vibe from Kevin Gates for you to even hop in his DM asking him about, yo, you, you want to go out on a date or, you know, just letting him know like, hey, I'm into you or whatever the case may be. Will you do that to 50 Cent or would you do this to any other? And I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say if 50 Cent in them is not like that because you never know. Is it be the rah rah ones that carry on this gangster persona and larger than life persona that beat on ones and shit though? Just like text me where they kept it really cool. Made a reservation at Mastro's, but like could have sent me a car service, but like I'm an independent woman, so like I'll have my own fucking suburban. It's fine. Went to Mastro's and I was like, am I gonna get like shot or like get it like a fish? Like I was like scared because you know like the experience that I've had and the people in LA. And the reason why some majority of them have the experiences that they have, like the um whatever violence or whatever the harm made um came to them and shit, is because you don't let the people know what you are and who you are. You get what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. And she seemed like the type, like she very like not I ain't gonna say very, that's that's using too much. She seemed like she's somewhat a flamboyant, like far as like you have your trans and shit out here that you see on social media, right? They are not all talkative of, you get what I'm saying? Like, they'll let you know, like, hey, I'm proud to be transgender or whatever the case may be. She seems like the type that you got to guess it. You get what I'm saying? Like, she, she seems like the type, like, you have to pretty much guess it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's some out here that a snip here, a clip here, a little bit of extra makeup or whatever, and you can somewhat deceive an individual out here to deceive them and um and have them thinking like, yo, hold on, is this a woman or is this a man? You get what I'm saying? And we all have came across those ones 
that look um somewhat feminine feminine but if you analyze if you got them observed well like you're supposed to then you can see what you need to see to identify like yo okay there ain't no woman right there you get what i'm saying they are so beyond like it's crazy because people in like iowa like small towns like think everything's so wholesome and like celebrities just like stay home no they're like out at restaurants every single fucking night monday through sunday not taking care of their kids we don't care about this shit. <laughs> and, like, we care about what the fuck he was insinuating like, about right kevin gates and he sat down, he had like four phones, he was saying like El Chapo was watching me, and I was like, okay, <laughs> like cool, he had a phone again, I'm like, oh, no, El Chapo was the cartel, I'm like, what is El Chapo? Y'all want to get a good look? <laughs> Just smile and nod. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, and it was just one of those situations where I almost felt like I was like, at like lunch with my or like in trouble with my principal mm-hmm. like I felt like he was literally looking so deep into like my soul and my like nine different holes that like I didn't even know what I was going to do I tried to have you heard that bitch said nine different holes so and then, I can believe that motherfucker too I'm, I'm like honestly I can believe it's crazy that like I have experiences with people or I hook up with people and then my brain just like I think teaches myself to like forget or I have dementia I don't know and, and she I mean he or Oh no! We it's talking about Kevin Gates, live, who y'all love. He shows me online, and I'm like, uh, I just know one of like the fans from Iowa, like where I'm from. Yeah, like that's so bad. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wait, it's like if he reads that comment right now, he's gonna flip his car. Uh-huh. Like I'm scared. He's taking me to his house. Like, and Man, I gotta wash my hair to too. To call an Uber, like. I'm not here. Like, there's never so much money. This motherfucker ain't Uber do all that. It was just hard. I don't even fucking know. I blocked it out. Yeah. And there was no full disclosure here, so we're just yeah, yes, we're exactly. Going into this situation as as and he didn't really ask like, do you want to come home with me? He's kind of like, get my car. I gotta get this <laughs> other tattoo <laughs> redarkened too. Yeah, I had this. Oh my god. Two thousand and four. Two thousand four. And so we get there. Yo, that's research, almost 20 years, like, yo. Honestly, I'd have had this right. tattoo. Now that like, I did my research, I'm like, I think I literally met your wife, but you introduced me as her sister. I don't know. It's all the like, energy, like Ashwagandha, like the whole night. Honestly, we bugged. And it's one of those trans, like mid, like spread eagle, like pussy bop scars and all. Like, I like, how did you, like, how did, like, how did you bring that? Honestly, like, I was just like, 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 what? Yeah. I mean, I've been in that situation. <laughs> I've been in that situation a few times where it's just like, yo. Like, oh, no. like, this motherfucker is hype telling that story about Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates ain't putting that goddamn bad rouge wood on it, dude. But oh, um, yo, I might part to this. You know, you got your other social media platforms and shit that's you know bigger than me, and they didn't been told their side and did their little joking and all of this and that, but. The people are in my little algorithm probably ain't got wind to this interview. So I can't even pronounce her name. Let me see. Leela, Leela Gibney. Leela Gibney supposedly be like a trans woman or something. You get what I'm saying? So she's on a platform and she's speaking on Kevin Gates. Now, if you speak on Kevin Gates, why can't you speak on the other like um entity like you know the other um famous celebrity individuals and shit but you pinpoint Kevin Gates because it's already been out a narrative has already been out there painted about Kevin Gates and you know Puff Daddy and it's several more other um individuals. I don't see Puff Daddy like that, like honestly. But that shit is all over certain individuals' face. Like Tyler Perry, for one. Okay, there you have Gavin Gates. It's all in his actions, the way he talk, posture, and all of that. That's all of that you, all of that shit you have to look for. So, this is Leela Gipney. and she's basically speaking on Kevin Gates, and they're supposed to have a one night stand or whatever. She's, he's, she's. I don't know what to say, but they are trans or transgender or trans women or something. 
Start early.